Hello everybody and welcome to our final design for October's Colour Astrology featuring that fantastic colour palette of Cerulean Blue. So today we're focusing on a simple vase design. So this simple vase design is so easy to create and totally eco-friendly because we don't use any foam, any tape or anything like that. The light blue tones inspire balance so it'd be really perfect for encouraging that sort of meditative atmosphere within the home. It will work really well in a relaxed domestic environment or in sort of like a holistic scenario. The natural feel of the varieties used also inspire a real calmness and tranquility. So the products that I'm going to use today are very, very simple. Basically, we've got a dyed blue tulip, now, I'm not normally a massive fan of dyed and coloured flowers, but these are so beautiful. The, the blue tones actually highlight all the little veins in the petal, so it almost looks like you've got a little ostrich feather plume. They are absolutely magnificent, loving those. Then we've got some blue hyacinths. Now this particular one is called Sky Jacket, really, really pale and subtle. And then just to complement those and sort of bring in those bluey grey tones, we've got some eucalyptus cinerea. Then my sundry items, just literally a round vase, which are filled with water, as you can see, and my scissors from my floristry kit. So enjoy.
As always, I have some top tips for you. So top tip number one, you could actually use a grid format across the top of the vase with some pot tape, just to give you a little bit of guidance for your design. And if also you're not using quite so many stems as I have, then by having a grid, you can actually get the flowers to stand up all on their own. Okay, top tip number two, you could make it as a hand-tied design first and then pop it into the vase if that's easier for you. And then top tip number three, don't forget that tulips are phototropic, so they will actually bend towards the light and they do actually grow overnight. So bear that in mind when you're making the design because by the time you wake up, those will have grown a little bit higher in the vase overnight. Okay, and then top tip number four, the type of uh, medium or paint that's been used to colour uh, the tulips, depending on the strength and the variety that I've used, may slightly discolour the water. So just bear that in mind if you're using a glass vase, you may find, for example, if you have blue tulips, you end up with a little blue discoloration in the water. So stay tuned because next month, November, we'll be exploring Claret Red. So that's in our Colour Strategy series. So please join us for that, where we'll have loads more ideas that you can have a go at doing yourselves. And what a perfect colour to welcome in, ahead of time, I have to say, the Christmas and festive season. All right, so don't forget to like us, share us, and comment in the box below. We love to receive your feedback. And also don't forget to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. There's loads more tips, hints and inspirational ideas that you can have a go at doing yourselves there as well. All right, thanks so much for watching. We look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Bye for now.